Hey, welcome back to another unboxing. Today we're going to be unboxing the Sword of Omens from the Thundercats, done by or created by Factory Entertainment. Um, they're the ones who put it out. I did cut the tape at the bottom because I've learned from past mistakes. These boxes are usually sealed up pretty good. So let's get to it. Welcome to RCX Unfiltered. All right, so like I said, I've already cut the bottom. And look, they actually gave me instructions. There's an instructions enclosed up here. So eh, let's just go ahead and get that off. I'm sure there's some importance to that, right? Maybe not. I have no idea. It looks important. Ooh, look. Important. Please read. See, it is important. I don't know what it is. I guess it's the... Uh, ooh. Cleaning, cleaning materials. So we got cleaning materials. Here's how we clean off the eye. We'll get that. But I have already cut the bottom here because I already knew that sometimes these things don't always go as planned. If you go watch some of my other videos, that's kind of how they, most of my videos don't go as planned, so it's fine. And let's get this out of here. And yes, um, I've already had one of my friends, Scott, tell me, hey, when are you going to hang up all your pictures? I, eventually, just like, once again, just like everything else in my room, um, everything that I've unboxed is pretty much still hanging around in here. But I'll get to it someday. I'll get some time. Maybe, maybe not. They... I got to move these other pictures that you kind of see up here before I can hang these up. So. But anyway, man, see, told you. Luckily, this is part of my collection, not the shop. So I'm just going to rip these bags. And let's get this out of here. And there's paperwork everywhere. Ooh, customs. It made it through customs. Yay! See? Customs officer import official. Look at that. Huh. It appeared in a major motion picture or television series. Who knew? So, <laughs> anyway. This is what we have. So this is the front of the box. As you can see. Sword of Omens. Prop replica. So it's not the real Sword of Omens. Of course. Because, you know, that would be cool. And it's Thundercats Classic. So, prop replica. Let's see what the back looks like. Um, this is not a toy. Over here. This is a collectible. That's what it says. Factor Entertainment. Warner Brothers. They own everything. Here's the skew. So, Here's our packed up box. So luckily I can do this. And I've had other people ask me, well, why don't you sit up here? Mainly it's Jacqueline. She asks me every time I do this, why don't you sit up here? I like sitting on the floor. It gives me more leg room. And then when Watson comes here to attack me, it gives him something to do because he can reach me. I'm on the floor. Let's cut all this tape off. I have to look. The box. Yeah, they did the boxes a little different than the uh, power sword. So, but anyway, so let's hopefully you can see this as we take this top off here. Oh, so here we go. Lino, let's see here, Lino. This is very similar to last time. How they made it, forged. All the different pieces, how to mount. So, once again, these have been really cool. Um, I, the power sword was really, really cool. So, here, let me tilt this down a little bit more here. So, oh. hey, once again, do not eat these. Never eat these. They are not for consumption. It is the one joke that I got, and I will keep using it, even though it's not funny anymore. So, plaque 
is 199 hey it was built september 6 2022 and i just got it so and it was inspected and approved by m506 i don't know who that is so here we go here's what it looks like in the box yeah, sorry so here we go it's what it's in the box so you can see we got the sword of omens we got the little pegs for the shield so first oh, let's try to get this thing out Ooh, see it's always something new with these things always something new this time they got it zip tied down so it won't come out at all but once again i was prepared i have a knife i can tell you what happened though they learned <laughs> They learned from the Power Sword, because if you go back and watch the Power Sword unboxing I did, nothing was holding it to this piece, and it has slid down, and it has started cutting into the box. Uh, Power Sword box is back here. That's why I keep looking that way. But it started cutting into the box, so now they've actually learned a lesson. So let's see if we can get this out. So, wow. Once again, these are very, very well made. Just going to throw pieces everywhere. So here's the blade, all shiny. Won't cut anything. See, we're safe. Very good. Close up of the eye close up of the cat I guess I could pull these off that's what this instructions here was telling me it's how to pull this carefully peel the film do not use tools do not use tools so let's see here and these things may have been on here so long oh yeah it's gonna be a pain to get this off they have been on here uh, quite a while. Which is probably why they give you that cleaner. Because this isn't just a film of um, like a plastic film here. It has got sticky residue all over it. So they are making sure that these eyes or this glass was protected in transit heavily. So let's see here. Yep. And all kind of sticky residue. Yep, so you can see, I don't know if you can see, really, it's got sticky residue at the bottom. We're going to put this down. I'm going to leave the other one down here and see if I can. Maybe it's just me, you know, trying to hold it up to everything. No, it's not just me. I, uh, yep, it is. It is very sticky, which, hey, I think these are what the alcohol, yep, alcohol swabs. So that's why they gave you, that's why the these instructions, if you notice, was attached to the shipping box and not in here because it probably dawned on them after the fact, hey, we have this well protected. How are we going to make sure that you get all this sticky stuff off without damaging anything so which means either hey someone else found it right after they shipped it or some other people got theirs before i got mine and they were like hey we have an issue now we're just going to go around and get the majority of the sticky stuff off before i hit it with those alcohol swabs like that section there. That's not coming off. Eh, it's pretty good. So anyway, sort of omens. Um, while we're here, I'm going to, well, let's go ahead and set this down back here so you can kind of see it. While I'll get out what the plaque looks like, because I'm sure everyone wants to see what the plaque looks like. If I can, once again, get it out. So 
So here's the plaque. Edition 199. Once again, like last time, you're going to take these little screw things and screw them in. Which we'll do this really quick because it doesn't take very long. And if you don't want to watch me do it, you could always just fast forward through it, which will also be fine. But what we'll do once I get this done, if I can get it out of here, the Sword of Omens is right there. We shall do them side by side since, I mean, why not, right? Ah! It's always something with these. So the, uh, the plaque for the power sword was, oh, this is the sword, sword of Omens power sword. Sorry. So the plaque for the power sword, I was looking at it. And I think what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to make something else and not use these to hang on the wall. I'm going to build like a stand and have this attach to that stand. And that way the sword will sit in here and then go into the stand. So anyway, that's done. Let me put this in here. As always, get this out of the way. Just to show you what their, their plan and thought process is, you have this. And I guess they want it to go, let's see, let's turn it out a little bit. Because, there we go. And then you hang this on the wall like that. That's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfect. But anyway, I think I'm going to... Eh, looks pretty good. But I think I'm going to... Instead of that, I'm going to mount this to something for this. And then put it on it. But while this is here... Yep. And everyone is correct. That's very dangerous what I was just doing. But let me go over here and see if I can't put a power sword out of the box so many things so power sword power sword so here you go remember the power sword so here are here they are side by side so i don't know how well you can see here they are so the sword of omens is a little bit taller uh, then the power sword, you, once again, you probably can't. Let's see if we can back up here. I am working the camera by myself, so it doesn't help. So as you can see, it's a little bit taller, but, you know, this is, hey, it's a power sword. And this has got to call a whole bunch of kittens. So they have different functions. So once again, these are actually, I mean, they are really, really cool. Um, I am really impressed with... Uh, Factory Entertainment's builds of these and how they create these things and what they do with them. So, but, and these are running, I think the retail on the sword. I, you know what? I'm not going to give you the retail because I can't remember and I don't want to do Factory Entertainment justice. They're not, I mean, they're, they're above the uh, $500 mark is retail on both of these um and i don't think it says it on the box um but that is that is what these are going for but i i don't want to give an exact price because i'm not sure what they're what they actually were on their site and stuff because i can't remember and i didn't look it up um, that's the bad part about this i'm i'm not always looking this stuff up but anyway so here we go so this is once again the Sword of Omens, and with the Power Sword, it's pretty cool. And, hey, you know what? If you hung around this long, I'll have a bonus unboxing. It's not really an unboxing. Here, let me put this back. Because, what most people, I mean, if most people know me, they know I collect a lot of things. And one of the other things that I, hang on, I'm going off camera a little bit. Put this over here. 
I'll be right back. See, hey, look, I'm back. So the other thing that I um, collect, because I collect a lot of things, is Nerf weapons. Hey, look, it's another box. This isn't really an unboxing, though. It's just how it shipped to me. So let's open this thing up and see what we have. I got this today. This is a Nerf Dungeons and Dragons battle axe. So, cause you know, it is Nerf or nothing. So I, uh, I'm a big fan of Nerf weapons. I own a lot of Nerf swords and axes. Um, this is Holga's great axe from the movie. The new movie, Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, in theaters near you soon. Once again, none of my stuff is sponsored. I just like really cool stuff. So, But anyway, look, bonus, bonus stuff. Maybe I'll, uh, I have a whole bunch of, like I said, Nerf uh, swords and battle axes. Maybe I'll get out one of the old battle axes. Oh, look, it's even got the, uh, Eh, seems like a lot of work to get it out, but it's got the D and D here, the D and D symbol on the axe. So that's pretty cool. So, yeah, I don't keep any of my stuff in packaging, as you can tell. It's look, like, hey, it came right off. Look at that. Wee. So there we go. Nerf. It's they uh they got black on that side. It's raised, black stamped on this side, raised on that side. So look at that. So you know, comparatively. I think this is like twenty dollars from wherever you want to buy it any retail outlet near you will have these for like 20 bucks smack people but this um this is actually my very cool thing so anyway once again thanks for joining me for an unboxing to see another piece of something that i've added to my collection and uh Eventually, I'll get to where I built the stands, and then I'll do a quick little video of the power sword and sword omens in the stand. So, all right, everybody. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you joining me, and we will talk to you later. Bye.